Nice. <laughs> Look after. How do you get into radio, by the way? How did I get into radio? Um, do you know that I got into everything in my life by mistake? For real? Well, not even by mistake, just by arriving. Mm. Something to do with my name. My name, Lesejo, mm-hmm. is Lucky. Mm. Yeah, because your, your career has been smooth, bro. <laughs> I thought you've ever been fired. No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm quite a... a <laughs> yeah, Baba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But these days, hey, these days I've been getting like, yeah, stop tweeting. Yeah, yeah. And you see, that's that's those are the things where I'm like, there's not a fucking chance I'm gonna get fired from Metro FM for tweeting a little kid. That that would be dumb. You dog. know what I mean? Yeah. So stay, uh, just stay off Twitter, bro. Yeah, you like no. me, bro. I never tweet. Yeah. Um, so I used to do mixes on VUTFM when I was in high school. Friday uh, afternoons I used to make 20 minute mixes live. I would leave school. I had a friend who was in varsity. She'd pick me up and take me to the university to go do my mix. Mm. Then they started saying, okay, do your mix and do like a weekly wrap up oh, of like okay. whatever is happening. Yeah. Like, okay. So I started doing that, doing a weekly wrap up, weekly wrap up. So you're talking to the mic now? Yeah. Oh, and mixing. And mixing. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then left, finished school, moved to Joburg, and then uh, did a show on Chance Africa Radio with Capital. Oh, I remember that. Your Capital has been pushing, bro. Yeah, that, that's my guy, you know. We, yeah. So we, we did that. Um, I think he wasn't as serious then about radio as I was. Yeah. That's when I started loving the desk and mm. loved broadcasting. So for instance, with our show, we'd alternate to the desk, one week me, one week him. Yeah. And then I started not liking that. I, I want to run the desk. Yeah. I, I want to be the anchor, Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, I've been listening to radio a lot. I studied radio a lot, studied you a lot, studied Fresh a lot, Flavor a lot, just mm. listening how you do a link, you know, what radio is about, how do you get the listener. Um, so that's basically how it started. And then after Chance F, I went back to VUTFM to do my own show. Mm. Saturday Afternoons Hip Hop did that. Nice. And that's where YFM found me. Oh, shit. Who is it? Dumelo? Uh, Tepo. Stapura. Oh, poor Stapura. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they uh, found me at VUTFM and then, yeah, did, did that. And Are you shitting your pants? Because there's a difference between VUT and YFM, bro. Yeah. And you know, legends come from there. Exactly. But I was happy, like, you know, from, from the moment I, I put that mic on at YFM, I was, my heart was, mm. I was like, this is where I was, you know, the vibe is destined to yeah. be. And here we are, you know. Mm. And that's why I've never been fired or anything like that because I really, like, respect the space, you know. Mm. Like, you'll never catch me out there drunk. You'll never catch me out there. Mm. Like, like, I really, really respect the space even where I work now, you know. Mm. Um, that's the one thing that's really got me very far in Five, life. Yeah. It's just respecting the space, respecting the 100%. people. I'm a kind of a person like when I walk in, I greet everybody and just having a smile on my face. You yeah. know, that's really what I've done all my life. And then when does Metro come calling? Whew. Metro comes calling, um, Spare and Naves leave 2015, 16. Spain, oh yes, to go to Gagasi. To go to Gagasi because mm. they've been doing the pre-party for mm. years. years yeah. They want more. Metro can't give them more. They, they're being offered something more. So off they go, boom, they go. Um, I, I just signed a new contract with YFM um, at the time. I am actually traveling to Amsterdam this evening. Um, on the way to the airport, I get a call from Spongile. She says, we want you at Metro. I said, what do you mean? I said, hey, I said, oh, this first is of a all, prank. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking two things. I'm thinking, I'm on my way to Amsterdam. I need to get on the flight, number yeah. one. Number two, I just signed a new contract, contract. at YFM. Yeah. She's like, no, fly, hit me back when you land. Yeah. Sure. First of all, I call my brother. My brother's my, is a, he's a lawyer. He's my lawyer. I'm like, dude, this, this lady, she's called me. She's saying this thing. Why are you calling a lawyer after getting a job, <laughs> No, my brother. I was saying my brother. Yeah. He's a lawyer. Yeah, why are you calling a lawyer? I'm he is celebrating. No, he is a lawyer, for real. Yeah. Oh, but I'm calling my lawyer to like tell him like, yo. Yeah, this is what's happening. Can you get me out that contract? Oh. <laughs> can you get me out the YFM contract? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, okay, okay, just fucking chill. <laughs> Go fly. Because I'm flying 
Dubai connecting from Dubai to Amsterdam. I'm going to be flying for about 30 hours. Yeah. It's like, go fly, settle in. We'll speak in two days. Boom, cool. I settle in, Vela. Shop, I'm nice, whatever. I'm like, and? He's like, no. Spongil is WhatsApping me. Mm. Like, yo. So I said, Spongil, cool, I'm in. Send me the contract. Damn. Then I say to my brother, uh, I'm going to Metro. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't care what happens. I can't. You can't say no to Metro. Like, <laughs> so it was like, yeah, it's simple. You're gonna take a very, you're gonna take an L, but it'll make sense in the big run. So long story cut short, I had just signed a 12 month contract at YFM. YFM, yeah. So um, I didn't want to leave on bad terms. Um, so we Our spoke. contracts don't get renewed. You're busy canceling contracts here. You know what I mean? <laughs> So I sat them down. I was very honest. Like, hey, guys, I've been offered to go to Metro. I don't, you know, uh, what's the easiest way to go about this? And they were very cool. They were like, of course you can't, but you're going to have to buy yourself out your contract, which my brother had already told me before I went to the meeting. I said, cool, no problem. That happens in radio? Yeah. Fuck. Well, I, if you keep your relationships clean, mm. you know, um, took all my savings, literally all of my savings. You lie. I swear to God. I took all my savings. I bought myself out the contract. How much was it? It was a lot. <laughs> More than uh, 500,000. No, no, no. 120. Bit more. 250,000. Ah, less. Shit. Yeah. But it was a lot of money. And at the time. You had to pay for that. Yeah. I was an upcoming (laughs) DJ. (laughs) Fuck, dude. (laughs) Where was Mayo? (laughs) Mayo was like, coming (laughs) yard. But but I, I've never heard of that, bro. Yeah, but I made a bit of cash. Yeah. But I was putting cash away to buy a house. Because mm. you find it, my mentor was always like, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house. He's like, if you're getting paid five grand, you best fucking believe you put two grand away. Mm. And that's what I did, you know? Boom. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I'm in fucking Amsterdam already. Nah, I must still go pay. Anyway, whatever. Lord, take the wheel. Yeah. It's my birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. Tomorrow. Shit. I'm not going to stress about this shit. Spongila, send me the contract. Hosi, my brother. Yeah. Fucking sort YFM out. Let's yeah. pay them. Let's, let's do this. When I get back, I'm going to YFM. Clean. Metro. Boom. Done. So that's, that's, that's how it happened. Um, they sent me the contract. I signed the wires in Amsterdam. They said, look, we pay. At Metro, they pay you with someone. Who can we pay you with that's already working at the station? I said, loot would be a perfect mm. fit. Um, however... Um, I uh, still, I am, I'm not going to leave YFM being an anchor to come be a co-host. Oh yeah, yeah. So you made that clear. Yeah, we can mm. join, but you know, it's your show. Yeah, but then with time, Lute wanted to learn how to run the desk, so I didn't mind. Mm. I was like, actually, it's it's chill. One week on, one week off. I mean, now I, I broadcast from home. I'm not even running the desk anymore. Oh shit! You know, Jaws is running the desk for me. Yeah, I'm broadcasting from home, which I actually kind of like. I, I really, really like it. So why did she leave? Um. So uh, what happened was uh, our show used to be six to 10, um, four hours. And then um, I just started telling Metro that like, yo man, four hours is a lot to be on air on a Saturday evening. What? I used to do six hours, bro. Yeah, but like I got a gig as well, you know, like <laughs> I have gigs, I have, I have, I'm traveling, I'm doing all types yeah. of things. And also it just became like, I didn't want the show to drag. I, mm. I always wanted a punchy show, you know. In and out. Yeah. So two years of Just me, like your strokes. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, um, they luckily they trusted me enough, and and the show is sounding really really dope now when it's two hours because we took those features we did in four hours and put it's them. Compact. Into, you know, it's it sounds, mm-hmm. which is what I wanted. So, um, loot um, for her being on air for two hours once a week didn't really make sense because remember, she's a broadcaster, not just mm. like me where I'm a DJ and, mm. and a broad, she's just a broadcaster. So um, luckily the opportunity came for her to be on the breakfast show, which was like an absolute blessing. Mm. You know, it was like, um, because for Lute, as well, for a long time, she didn't want to become a hip hop brand. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. Still you can get lost up. in that. Yeah. Exactly. You know, mm. She still does want to do drive, breakfast or whatever. Mm. So yeah, that's, that's how that came about. Oh, shit. Man. 